And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we have the first match on the Copa Libertadores group stage coming right up for you. So many storylines, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. As a team, you can really set the tone of the whole competition in these early rounds. Really put a marker down. Everyone is watching. Set the standards, Derek. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Well, it's terrific to have the Copa Libertadores group stage finally underway. The biggest club competition here in South America with a rich history going back to the 60s. Lee, always a pleasure to be here commentating with you. But most importantly, who do you fancy to go all the way? Well, probably one of the sides from Argentina or Brazil, to be honest. They've been so dominant over the last few decades and it's hard to see past one of those powerhouses. Hopefully, we're proven wrong that there's maybe a few upsets along the way, Derek. This is how it looks for the home side. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Thiago Pombeira. This is how the visitors will set up today. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4-5-1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? There's players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support. Not only a run. A running towards goal. And it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Ronaldo Esler. Simao Acuna. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And very deftly cut out. Couldn't keep it. Rosberto Dorado. Ailton Valpassos. Run it magnificently and intercepted. Ronaldo Esler, a sloppy pass. On and on he goes. Still passing it around with authority. Well, far too much on that particular cross. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Must score! Well, the shot from that position left a bit to be desired. You've just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. Ronaldo Esler. Ronaldo Esler. Ailton Valpassos. Simao Acuna. And the flag has gone up here. Offside the decision. Simao Acuna. So tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero, take chances. I must say, this looks promising. Masterful piece of foiling.
And a strong tackle. Danger averted for now. It's with Farinha. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Delivered into the area here. What a splendid volley it was, but denied by the frame of the goal. Well, he took the chance, didn't he? He swung his leg at it in a volley and he's hit the woodwork. the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. It's with Farinha. Simao Acuna. Options around him. Well, just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Well, the pass just needs to be made a little bit quicker and he's onside, but he just gets caught out. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. A good reading of the game to win possession back. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Substitution time it is. teammates to play it to it's got to be still possibilities well there's the energy surge from the crowd again urging their team on perfectly fair tackle and it will be a corner Corner kick played over. Opportunity missed. Ronaldo Esler. It's with Farinha. Ronaldo Esler. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Simao Acuna giving it a try. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. Corner kick played in. 
It didn't happen for them. Ronaldo Esler. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Well, the home fans are doing their best to try and urge the players on to get this winner. Will it come? Read it superbly to take back possession. Far from a good pass. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Michael Catarino, Thiago Pombeira. Good visualization and execution. Just drifted into the illegal position offside, in the opinion of the officials. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. An important interception. And the defender takes care of business. It's with Farinha, Evandro Rochedo, untidy in possession. Making progress. Won it back. Ronaldo Esler. An incisive pass. He succeeds in clearing it. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Looks promising this. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Now they're on the... Roberto Dorado. It's with Farinha. Couldn't keep it. This might have potential. Crossing opportunity. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. He has teammates to play it to. And he's made headway. Off the post and back in play. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Well, they've got to make this pressure count, Derek. The stats don't lie. Created so many chances, but they've got to be clinical. They can't hit a barn door at the moment. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Good tackle. Half time in extra time. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Must score! It's going to be a 
possession changes hands. The interception there. An abundance of space. And options in the centre. Oh, surely the shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. Fabrio Farinha. Might really be able to trouble them here. Goalkeeper should take charge. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period. Beautifully weighted ball. Unable to make the mark with that cross. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. They've given it away. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. He's got the right idea with that pass. What can he do from here? Firing it towards goal. Locked together then, these two sides. And off we go now. Now well, they're on the scent of something positive. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a play, and the penalty converted here. Well, that's hours of practice, Derek. Hours of practice. His turn to try to convert from the spot. He's gambled on direction and won. Well, he's got his angles. Job done from the spot. Well, professional job. Well done. Will he be able to keep the demons at bay? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Bread and butter, Derek. Bread and butter. And he scores from the spot. Confident, head down, lovely strike. Mental preparation is such a big part. And he's denied them from the spot. Oh, it's lovely goalkeeping, really is. And now a heaven, an expertly taken penalty to get his team through. Well, he's a penalty specialist. He wasn't going to miss that. And they're through. 